Hey, it's Margie with the Asking Spot. Let's go around. We are working on corsages and boutonnieres made from pages from a book. A book? Oh. Now, if you're anything like myself, the idea of cutting up a book is horrendous. I tried it once before. I got this old hardcover book that was in my thrift shop down the street. And I was just going to cut it up because it was a book on architecture and I kind of like the pictures of the buildings and I was just going to cut them out and frame them. <laughs> But I got it home. Saw it was made in 1909. I just, I couldn't do it. I was sitting on a bookshelf, happy. And all in one piece still. But for this, seeing as promised, tomorrow I was kind of like, I gotta go for it. Um, I went back to my thrift shop and I went to the paperback section. And sure enough, in the self-help section, they had my paperback book that had lovely white and black pages that were still, you know, newer. And they had two of the same book. So no brainer grab that for a dollar took that home and that's what I'm using to cut up on this it does kill me though is later fetching the mail mm, this came in it's just a program now granted it's got a lot of pictures in it but it does have some paper pages that are just writing it would have worked just fine I may do more flowers just because I have this all right the other things I had to buy was um, the floral wire that you get you can get this at any store your crafter stores or you know the big super stores have them and then also floral tape that's a big need I did everything I did with gluing it together I'm using double-sided tape and until you get to the attaching the wrist corsage to the ribbon I didn't really need a glue gun however if you didn't want to use double-sided tape and you had a glue gun knock yourself out it works just as well doing the same thing so here it goes first you're gonna cut up the squares now I started out with a really big one it was about five inches by five inches and it has to just be exact square and then I tried another flower with a four and a half by four and a half and then finally the smallest flower I did is a four by four and I'm um, Hopefully doing all the things in centimeters so you can get it too if you want to convert. Done. And then um, I started cutting them out. Uh, first, oh, you got to fold them. So you fold them in half, then you fold them again in half. I'm hopefully running these pictures. And again in half. Now, I was folding every piece back the opposite direction as well, just so I could get a nice fold mark in either direction all the way around. Once you have them all folded, you're going to cut them into sort of a half of a heart. Just that part where it opens up, you're going to cut around the curve there and make a bit of a half of a heart. If you open it, oh look, it's a heart. Um, fold it back up again real tight and then you're going to cut the tip off. Now be careful with the tip on this. You don't want it too small or too big, but obviously if you make it too small, it's easier to fix that than if you make it too big. Remember when you cut this off that you're going to end up removing a couple petals and tightening the circle. So it will get smaller, but if it's like, you know, more than the top of a pencil, it's too big. So you're just gonna have kind of a hot mess. All right, once they are cut out, then you're going to start to individually cut leaves out. You start with one and you're saving what you cut out because that's going to be part of it too. So the first one you cut one leaf out and then you're going to attach the remaining petals together. Then the next one you are going to cut out two petals and put those aside, attach the remaining together, etc. Until you're cutting it in half. That one on the last one that you cut in half, the half of it you're not gonna really use. It's just a duplicate piece. I ended up using it as scrap and it made my leaf petals for the flower, but you know, not really necessary. Once you have them all glued or taped together, then you're gonna start to put them one around the other until they build out. And you're gonna add a little bit of a curl. Now I'm using just a small tiny screw driver for this or maybe it's a Phillips head but you get the idea just to give it a little bit each petal a little bit of a curl once they're all together and from here you could just proceed to go ahead and leave it and then just use your um, floral tape around the stem of the floral wire you're using and call it a day 
but my kids wanted them colorful and to match their attire. So I went ahead and just sent them a picture of the paints I have and said, pick your colors, which they did. And I started painting the flowers. Now, it would have been a lot easier if I painted these before I started folium, but it wouldn't have worked. Um, the problem is, is when the paint gets on there, it kind of acts like hairspray. It gets really stiff at this point. So you really do need to shape it. And sadly, when you're doing it while you're painting it, it's really delicate and uh, easy to tear. So do be careful there. But then once it dries, it's, it's kind of in set. So be careful how you leave it to dry too, because that's the way it's going to look in the end. For the baby's breath, what I did on that is I just used a strip of paper. It really, you only need about the length of your finger in that strip of paper and less than the width of your finger, probably the width of your pinky finger. It really doesn't have to be very much. You're folding it back and forth, accordion folding it like it would be sort of a fan. And then you go ahead and slip off, snip off just the corners at it so it kind of comes more of a curved edge on the top. Pull it all open, add a strip of glue down the base of it, and then wrap it around your floral wire. Or, as I decided to make this even more eco-friendly, I knew I had bread twist ties in a drawer in, well, the junk drawer. So I grabbed a few of those out, did it on either end, and it worked beautifully. I kept one the full length so I could have, you know, something for all of the rest of them to attach to. Now, I just did a few for this, if you really wanted to go all out, you could do, uh, you know, at least twice as much as I did, but it was just to give a hint to it. Um, wrap those around. Then I use the floral tape again. Floral tape is really cool. You have to stretch it a bit just to get it to go. And it does leave you kind of gooky and waxy and gluey, but it works wonderfully and it looks great. In the end, it's really the finishing peaches piece. Now to get it attached to the wrist. So with the Corsage 4 tie-on, I could have gone out and bought some elastic to do it that way, but I thought, no, the ribbons, I always kind of like them. They're pretty. And besides, again, it's upcycling. I had some ribbon in the cabinet. Here we go. I used a bit of felt to make sure that it wasn't sort of bumpy and itchy to the wearer's wrist. So I glued a little on the flowers once I tied them all together, and then I glued it to the ribbon and I made sure to cut the piece of ribbon long enough so that it would go around a wrist and be able to tie in a pretty bow. All right, before we see the final results, I ask if you could please give a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. If you click the bell, you'll even get alerts. And uh, speaking of alerts, the next video I'm working on is something to upcycle plastic containers, you know, the like the big yogurt containers, I'm using some air dry clay with that and uh, hopefully it'll be something that inspires you. And uh, here we go. This is the final results. Got the wrist corsage. Kind of turned out nice and pretty. And then there's the boutonniere. Yay! Um, prompts tomorrow night. I wish I could uh, have the pictures for you of them with these on, but um, hopefully they'll just have a great time. And these flowers will be some nice little lasting mementos. Thanks so much for watching The Asking Spot. Got bloopers next. I did this in the last 15 minutes. Memory's going. Um, well, thanks for watching the asking spot. If you could, uh, never mind. Wait a minute. Ugh. It's getting to be really hot here. To containers. <coughs> and um, yeah, the nails here. <laughs> Sliding in there uh, a few shots of my. Um, it's become an obsession now. The embroidery? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching.